Hello my friends today we're gonna make a powerful drop like Fred again in FL Studio. We're gonna start by adding some very tight drums and effects. If we make a really powerful foundation for the drop it'll be very easy to make the rest of the drop sound good on top. First we'll add a quite punchy kick and a short and crisp clap and we'll make this groovy rhythm. By the way, the BPM in this drop is 178. Now we'll add a ride. And we're also gonna add a second ride playing on the off beats, which is the same ride as the first ride, just with higher volume. We're also gonna add a drum loop to add some more energy. And lastly we're gonna add a couple effects to add a bit of spice. Now that we have a tight drum beat let's make a real fat bass line. I wanna create a kinda wobbly and futuristic bass in order to get that Fred again sound. We're gonna start by making the bass line and then we're gonna make it wobble with a very simple but cool technique. So we're first gonna find a nice serum bass preset and make this bass line with a weird glitch right there in the middle. Then we're gonna add a second mid bass layer. And a sub bass layer. Now guys I'm gonna show you how to make a cool wobble effect on the bass. So what we're gonna do is to add the two first bass layers aka the mid bass layers to a mixer track. And we'll add the sub bass layer to another mixer track. So this is where we're gonna mix the mid bass. And this is where we'll mix the sub bass. Then we're gonna link both of those mixer tracks to a new mixer track which we will call bass bus. This is where we'll add the wobble effect. And you can link these mixer tracks to the bass bus track by first clicking on the track you want to connect. And then right clicking this arrow on the track you want to connect to, and then you click on route to this track only. Now do that for both the mid bass and the sub. Now to make the wobble effect we're gonna add a fruity filter on the bass bus mixer track, and we're gonna make an automation out of the cutoff frequency button. Then we're gonna make this shape on the automation, and we're gonna copy paste it in this rhythm. I'm gonna play it together with the kick and clap so you can hear the rhythm. Nice. Now let's add some mixing effects on the bass to make it more powerful. Let's start by mixing the mid bass layers. We want the bass to be very dirty and distorted. We'll first add an EQ to shape the mid bass, then a lot of compression with OTT, remember, we wanna really push the bass. Then another EQ, distortion and compression using Camel Crusher, two sound goodizers to add more power more distortion with fruity fast dist, and two final EQs to remove some harsh frequencies created by the distortion. Lastly I added a fruity stereo shaper with these settings because I wanted the mid bass to be a bit wider in the mix. This my friends was before we added the mixing effects. And this is after. Now we also want the sub bass to punch really hard so we're gonna turn it from this into this. To do that I'm just gonna add some mixing effects including compression and distortion. It doesn't really matter what you add as long as it adds power and that you remove the highs and mids with an EQ at the end. Now guys this is what we have so far. I'm gonna add a distorted atmosphere sound on top to add some more emotion and energy to the drop. Now 
guys to glue this drop together we need a fat lead with a lot of energy. We're gonna make a vocal lead and add that cool LFO stutter effect that Fred again uses a lot. So we'll start by just finding a simple but catchy vocal hook. I don't wanna fall in love. I just wanna have some fun, yeah. I don't wanna fall in love. I just wanna have some fun. Then we're gonna cut up the vocal and make it repeat itself a lot. I don't wanna fall in love. I don't wanna fall in love. Fall in love. Fall in love. Fall in love. I don't wanna fall in love. I don't wanna fall in love. Fall in love. Fall in love. Now guys we're gonna connect the vocal sample to a mixer track which we will call lead and then we're gonna link this mixer track to a new track which we will call lead volume control. So we're gonna add our mixing effects on this first mixer track and we're gonna make the cool LFO stutter effect on this second mixer track. So to create the stutter effect we're just gonna create a volume automation for that second mixer track and we're gonna create a shape like this on the automation. Then we're gonna copy paste this automation clip like this. I don't wanna fall in love. I don't wanna fall in love. Now let's add a reverb on the vocal lead. And let's control the reverb with a reverb automation like this. Okay guys, we want the lead to be a lot more powerful and crisp if we want the drop to sound good. So let's add some mixing effects to really push the lead to its limits. We're gonna add an EQ first to shape the lead. Then we'll add compression with OTT. Then two sound goodizers to add power. A camel crusher to add a bit of distortion and compression. Then a fruity blood overdrive with these settings to make the vocal a lot crisper. And a final EQ to remove ugly frequencies. Lastly I added a pancake which is this free plugin that pans the lead just a bit from side to side. It's not really necessary but it just makes the lead a tiny bit more interesting now this is what we had before and this is after the mixing Now guys and gals before I show you the final result I would truly appreciate it if you checked out my EDM sample pack. Link is in the description. If you get the pack you'll get 6 FLPs, 280 samples and 150 serum presets. All made for future house, bass house, slap house and deep house. Here's a sneak peek of two of the FLPs from the pack. I just wanna have some fun, have some fun, have some fun